All right, it's December 2nd, 2022. My name is Timothy French. We're in Blacksburg, South Carolina to continue on a quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started. We're walking down our main street right now. Yeah, got a few stores in town. Iron City, Iron City Ministries right here. It's called Iron City because back, back in the 1880s, a town uh, found iron here and they started mining it and this became a big boom town with saloons and bars and people getting wealthy left and right and so that's why they called it Iron City Iron City for a while you'll see that around town there's old salon that old brick building looks like it's been here a while if you look on back behind me you'll see Rev here going out of town that way Patterson's record service is over there and we've got more inspired looks like a little store some Christmas stuff over there got a home health care place on the water and nationwide as well here in town and then uh, another store empowerment for living there that old uh, air conditioner sticking out the wall I don't like that another empty store coming up here yeah it's not the boom town it once was but it still looks like a nice place to live and got a florist here on the right yeah, so please come next door and no public restroom if you want to use that so yeah, that's that, that. Yeah. Kirby's Flowers. And they're closed. Closed in there. I couldn't really understand what they were doing there. Let's walk back here a minute. It says open on this door. And they got flowers in there, but maybe it just means that second door there. I don't know. Anyway, let's go on down. Got a little slope off of the sidewalk here with some bricks on it. I guess it was probably just straight at one time. They leveled it off or something. Got all the power poles down to put these nice poles for the lights. Keeps those overhead lines out of the way. They're kind of unsightly. Got a little mural down here on the right. Let's look at that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it says Black Station in Iron City in Blacksburg. And so... I think this town got a start back in uh, when a man named Stark came up here from Charleston. He came up here with a group of people. They were going to on a little agricultural venture, and they were to come up here and make some money. And that uh, venture failed. And uh, I guess he went on back. Some other people they stayed, and they called it Stark's Folly for a while because <laughs> I guess he lost money. But they found a nice place to stay though. <coughs> Excuse me. And then. Later on, a man named Black, you see, there's called Black Station. He convinced the railroad to come through here and uh, build a, a depot and all. And that helped the town get along pretty good for a while. And then they found that iron. And, of course, it was called kind of Iron City after that. And finally, Blacksburg. Yeah, after the oil ran out, I guess, things settled down into what it is now. Got a beautiful building on the other side. It's 1898. So that one has been there for a while. That's cool. Well, let's go on back up here and cross and go on down a little further. Let's see what we got here. Got some lights going. We can go on across. I don't know what that. Oh, that's the police department now. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's the police department right here, and I believe if I go on down. Fire station's going to be down there. I believe that's what I saw. Yeah, fire station down down on that end is going out of town. A little tobacco vape shop out there. So we'll turn around here. Yeah, I'm curious about the way they got the sidewalks and bricks. Why it's like that. Anyway, let's uh, shoot back over before the light changes. Got it decorated for Christmas here. Let's see. This might be town hall here. I'm not sure. Don't say it. Grandmaster of Masons, maybe it's something to do with the Masons there. I'm not sure. Got on the digital signs not lit up, but it says something about the Masons on that little placard in behind the decorations there. Maybe that's not Town Hall then. Anyway. In honor of all veterans presented by Blacksburg. VFW, 1988. We honor, honor them all, that's for sure. 
Got old ghost sign here. Coca-Cola in the bottles. Man, they were always in the bottles. Back when I was a kid and you'd get them out there, it'd be so cold. And the little eight ounce bottles was just perfect, you know? Just don't taste the same today, but I guess a lot of people say that about things from the past, I don't know. This old building here is boarded up. Not using it for nothing, I don't guess. There's no trespassing on it. Cuts here, I guess that's a barber shop. It looks painted, so I'm assuming they're open. Can't see in because it got that reflective glass. It's like the tall building down here. <clears throat> and as I see this tile here, it makes me think. I'm trying to think. A lot of times you'll see this tile at the entrance of a building to a pharmacy or something like that, but it goes on back pretty far. It's like maybe this was the, outs the building there and you come in here from the outside. Any of you old timers know how that was? Am I right on that? Maybe they can make a park or something here. There's the other side as we come along, just to give a little reference there. We'll come back down that side in a minute. Merry Christmas from the Blacksburg Business Association. Yeah, they probably working to get this downtown fixed back up again. Uh, and uh, all the people live here and need to come on out here and support your town center. You know, a lot of these town centers took a hit when everybody started spending all the money out there with the chain stores and franchises. You'll find out on all the bypasses and exits all across the country. And that's fine, but that gets a little boring to me. And I like to come into a town and get, find mom and pop businesses and help these uh, town centers recover. So if you live around here and somebody opens up a nice business and they're offering decent prices, not trying to gouge you, support them. Don't spend all your money out there with those same old. There's some of the houses off in the distance. Well, let's cut on the cross. Yeah, it's quiet today. It's hard to imagine back in the day how busy it must have been when they were getting out of iron saloons and all in here. <laughs> Probably was a little rowdy at one time too, I bet. Got a little auto place right there on the right. Yeah. You got the, some of the building covered up. Got some paintings on it. It's painted, but I don't know if it's anything you can go in. You got wise fine co coffee, tea, and books. I like that. That's cool. Y'all come out here support this little business. They got it fixed up nice for you. Go in there and read your book. Probably got Wi-Fi. Buy a coffee or two from them. Yeah, I like what they're doing there. And they got it decorated out here. And they got a variety shop here too. It's open today. We got snowman in the winter. So y'all come on in here. They here for it. I bet they got some unique items for you. That's a brick building here. Maybe just the office. Let's see. Let me back up. To the other side of the river museum they don't have any hours nothing but that's what it says maybe if it's a museum they can update the front with a little more information that you can just see off the street and not have to go online to find there's another empty building somebody could put something in it's a little dirty looking though can clean this area up through here that's for sure let me get away from the building a little bit Useful things, consignments went under, all these boarded up windows. I'm trying not to get too high because the sun's coming straight at me now. Got a lot of damage on this little wall here. Yeah, this looks terrible inside. Hey, you can see me there. Let's see. Yeah. I tell you what. Let me get all these buildings filled up looking like there's two businesses sitting down there by themselves. It could be done. It could be done. This looks like a nice little place to live for sure. But uh, need to put all the. Uh, I bet that underneath that siding was these uh, display windows that maybe a retail business was in at one time. I kind of tried to update the front of this one with some wood. But, and they have. They fixed it up. But nothing in there that I can tell. Look inside. It's empty, but it could be something nice. But they kind of try to do something, some wood here. I mean, it's all new windows, I guess. It kind of sticks out a little bit. Maybe they can fix it up a little bit better, paint these bricks and all. 
Definitely can use some streetscaping there. This looks terrible. Terrible. So all this overgrown stuff. You can see this. Looks like this brick building set on top of an older foundation where it has some stone. So that's cool. I don't know what the history of that is. They just went right in on top of it. That's been here a while. Maybe back when it was Iron Ore City. That's cool. So this building a little cracked and all. Some places and all. Not bad, not bad. Just look around real quick while these people come down the street. I didn't want to take the camera right in on them. All right, well, you can't overnight park here. Some mental rev can't stay here overnight, so we won't have to move on here in a minute. More inspired. That's a business we already looked at. They got some, definitely got some Christmas stuff in there for you. And they're saying, Welcome, so come on in. Yeah, Stark's Folly, Iron City. Black Station and finally Blacksburg. I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Blacksburg, South Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.